Today is Friday, September 23rd, 2022. It is also day 228 of Blender, and today I'm going to take an image and make a 3D model out of it, just like I did yesterday. Um, and then I'm going to go one extra step today and attempt to animate the image using Mixamo by Adobe. Um, but it may or may not work. We'll see. I chose a different image this time where the hands are actually visible. Um, because yesterday's obviously her hands were like inside the pants so they weren't visible and that's kind of what you need here in order to animate a character in Mixamo. So we'll see if it works. If not, it's okay. At least we got a 3D model. Um, the first step is to upload my my image. I can't even speak today. Um, image to um, background BG. So I'm going to choose this one by Selena Gomez. Um, it's front view facing. I had a few different options but evidently I chose this one because again her you know, her arms are very, her hands are very visible, so that's what we really need for Mixamo. Um, and then after that, just go to um, the source code, which is actually over here linked in resources. And if you scroll all the way down, there is a collab option. Click on that and it's going to prompt you to make a copy um, of it to your drive. And then once you do that, you have your own version and you can just scroll down until you see, um, where is it? Is it at the top? I think it's at the top until you see where is it choose files um, obviously you can't choose anything now because you haven't run it so really what you want to do is you want to connect to a runtime and then you want to go to the little arrow click connect to hosted runtime and then wait until it's actually connected all right and once it's connected when it's like disappears with a check mark you want to go to runtime and then run all and that's literally it um, then it's going to prompt you to choose an image over here. So choose files and I would just go to downloads and click on the file that I had and that's pretty much it. And then we just wait. It's going to take a while um, and it's just going to run those code snippets. But then it's going to take a little while when it's going to, you know, render the actual result. So we'll wait for that. All right. And now it's done. So this is what it looks like. This is a 3D model and it did a pretty, pretty amazing job. So in order to get the actual result, in order to upload it to Blender, um, you can go to the PIF, you, I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, uh, click the folder, go to results and then final. And then in recon, if I extend it, I can see the OBJ file, which is this one over here. So I'm gonna wait for that to download after I click on it. All right, and once it downloads, it's gonna be here. I'm just gonna go to Blender and I'm going to wait for that to open and I'm going to click on general file. Okay, and then at the top left corner, I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to import OBJ and then just go and get that import wavefront. Oops, I forgot to delete the cube. Press X to delete the cube and here we go. This is what it's looking like. So we have or 3D model, which is pretty amazing. If I right click and shade smooth, it'll become smoother and it's more defined. I can go here in skulk mode and just do whatever I want. I can smooth things out by using the smooth brush. So I can smooth things out like so. Um, and just, you know, do that. Kind of edit a bit. All I'm really doing is just kind of touching upon these things here. Just slightly pressing on everything. Don't want to do too much smoothness, right? Because I want to kind of keep everything working here, or at least the textures, right? And yeah, this is kind of the idea. Um, so now that that's done, this is so in the, like this is not necessary. You could go straight um, from the website to Maxima, or however you pronounce it, but I kind of like to smooth things up a bit. I'm going to go ahead and export this as an OBJ. I'm going to call it Selena, but modified .obj. I'm going to put it in my desktop. Then I'm going to just go back over here into what just happened. Okay, um, Mixamo. Um, and then I'm going to upload a character. I'm going to select character file and I'm going to select the one that I just downloaded over here. So desktop and it should be somewhere in here. Selena mod. Open that up and then just wait for it to upload. All right. And once it's uploaded, it's going to ask me to kind of just, you know, have the character be 
facing the front, but that's already it. So I'm going to click on next and then I'm going to just apply these. I'm going to click on it and drag until I see the chin over here, the wrists kind of over here, um, and then the elbows over here, the knees here, and then the groin over here somewhere. And I'm going to click on next. And hopefully it works because yesterday it didn't work because the hands weren't visible. So we'll see how this works. And it did. This is so exciting. Okay, so it's working and now it's really, it's animated. This is like amazing. This is like so great. So I'm going to click on next. And okay. All right. How do I work with this? Oh. Alright, let's see what I can do now. Look at how cool this is. So I have so many different options and I can just click on them and it'll animate my character. So here's Selena Gomez Roomba dancing. And this is just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. You could do sitting, laughing. It's crazy. Rain. So amazing. This is like the most amazing thing I've seen. Wow. Modeling. Okay. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, so I think I'm going to end it up with this one and I'm going to download this um, as, is there OBJ? No, there's FBX. So let's see, I could download that. And then I'm also going to, what is sent to air on me? I don't even know. All right, um, I think I'm good with that. So I'm gonna go back to Blender and see what I can do there. See if I could just upload that. So I'm gonna go to file and then import FBX, I believe is somewhere over here, right? And I'm gonna open this up, import. And then, pretty sure I have to, where's the other one? Run that. Whoops, let me delete this and let me do this again. So file, import, FBX, run this. And I have all of these keyframes. Oh, it's because it's so small. I have to zoom in and then I'll be able to see Wow, this is amazing. So look, it clearly is rigged, and if I play it, I'll be able to see the catwalk, which is just absolutely amazing. Let me just end this at 115 so it doesn't, like, play all the way. I'll just have it run. All right, and this is what it's looking like. So you can see her clearly making her catwalk, and this is, like, so great. So this would be really good for like background characters, even like a template, like you can, um, you know, just even get your like, you know, normal template for, you know, for sculpting. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. So if I were to just really quickly zoom in through all of these keyframes, I'll be able to see that happening. It's pretty amazing. Alright, so, yep, that's it for today then. Bye!